The M3 Stewart, formerly light tank M3, is an American light tank of World War II. It was supplied to British and Commonwealth forces under Lend-Lease prior to the entry of the U.S. into the war. Thereafter, it was used by U.S. and Allied forces until the end of the war. The name General Stuart or Stuart given by the British comes from the American Civil War Confederate General J. E. B. Stuart and was used for both the M3 and the derivative M5 light tank. In British service, it also had the unofficial nickname of Honey after a tank driver remarked she's a honey. To the United States Army, the tanks were officially known only as Light Tank M3 and Light Tank M5. The M3 Stewarts were the first American crew tanks in World War II to engage the enemy in tank versus tank combat. Development Observing events in Europe, American tank designers realized that the Light Tank M2 was becoming obsolete and set about improving it. The upgraded design, with thicker armor, Modified suspension and new gun recoil system was called Light Tank M3. Production of the vehicle started in March 1941 and continued until October 1943. Like its direct predecessor, the M2A4, the M3 was initially armed with a 37mm M5 gun and 5.30-06 Browning M1919A4 machine guns, coaxial with a gun on top of the turret in an M20 anti-aircraft mount, in a ball mount in right bow, and in the right and left hull sponsons. Later, the gun was replaced with a slightly longer M6, and the sponson machine guns were removed. Internally, the radial engine was at the rear and the transmission to the driving sprockets at the front. The prop shaft connecting the two ran through the middle of the fighting compartment. The radial engine compounded the problem having its crankshaft high off the hull bottom. When a turret floor was introduced the crew had less room. The rear idler sprocket was moved to a trailing position. Equals M5 Stewart equals, to relieve the demand for the radial aero engines used in the M3, a new version was developed using twin Cadillac V8 automobile engines and twin hydromatic transmissions operating through a transfer case. This variation was quieter, cooler and roomier. Owing to its automatic transmission it also simplified crew training. The new model also featured a redesigned hull with sloped glasses plate and driver's hatches moved to the top. Although the main criticism from the units using it was that the Stewarts lacked firepower, the improved M5 series kept the same 37mm gun. The M5 gradually replaced the M3 in production from 1942 and, after the M7 project proved unsatisfactory, was succeeded by the light tank M24 in 1944. Combat history equals War in North Africa and Europe equals, the British Army was the first to use the light tank M3 as the general steward in combat. From mid-November 1941 to the end of the year, about 170 stewards took part in Operation Crusader during the North Africa campaign, with poor results. Although the high losses suffered by Stuart equipped units during the operation had more to do with better tactics and training of the Africa Corps than the apparent superiority of German armored fighting vehicles used in the North African campaign, the operation revealed that the M3 had several technical faults. Mentioned in the British complaints were the 37mm M5 gun and poor internal layout. The two man turret crew was a significant weakness and some British units tried to fight with three-man turret crews. The Stuart also had a limited range, which was a severe problem in the highly mobile desert warfare as units often outpaced their supplies and were stranded when they ran out of fuel. On the positive side, crews liked its relatively high speed and mechanical reliability. The high reliability distinguished the Stuart from cruiser tanks of the period, in particular the Crusader, which composed a large portion of the British tank force in Africa up until 1942. In the summer of 1942, the British usually kept Stuarts out of tank-to-tank -tank combat, using them primarily for reconnaissance. The turret was removed from some examples to save weight and improve speed and range. These became known as Stuart Recce. Some others were converted to armoured personnel carriers known as the Stuart Kangaroo, and some were converted to command vehicles and known as Stuart Command. M3S, M3A3S, and M5S continued in British service until the end of the war, 
but British units had a smaller proportion of these light tanks than U.S. units. The other major lend-lease recipient of the M3, the Soviet Union, was even less happy with the tank, considering it undergunned, under-armored, likely to catch fire, and too sensitive to fuel quality. The M3's radial aircraft engine required high-octane fuel, which complicated Soviet logistics as most of their tanks used diesel or low-octane fuel. High fuel consumption led to a poor range characteristic, especially sensitive for reconnaissance vehicle. Also, compared to Soviet tanks, the M3's narrower tracks resulted in a higher ground pressure, getting them more easily stuck in the spring and autumn mud and winter snow conditions on the Eastern Front. In 1943, the Red Army tried out the M5 and decided that the upgraded design was not much better than the M3. Being less desperate than in 1941, the Soviets turned down an American offer to supply the M5. M3S continued in Red Army service at least until 1944. The Soviets did appreciate the high reliability of American tanks. Equals war in the Far East to Euro CBI and Pacific equals, the U.S. Army initially deployed 108 Stuart light tanks to the Philippines in September 1941, equipping the U.S. Army's 194th and 192nd tank battalions. The first U.S. tank versus tank combat to occur in World War II began on December 22, 1941, when a platoon of five M3s led by Lieutenant Ben Amorin engaged the Imperial Japanese Army 4th Tank Regiment's Type 95 Hargo light tanks north of Demortis. Lieutenant Morin maneuvered his M3 off the road, but took a direct hit while doing so, and his tank began to burn. The other four M3s were also hit but managed to leave the field under their own power. Lieutenant Morin was wounded, and he and his crew were captured by the enemy. M3S of the 194th and 192nd Tank Battalions continued to skirmish with the 4th Tank Regiment's tanks as they continued their retreat down the Bataan Peninsula, with the last tank versus tank combat occurring on April 7, 1942. Due to the naval nature of the Pacific Campaign, Steel for warship production took precedence over tanks for the IJA, creating by default an IJA light tank that performed admirably in the jungle terrain of the South Pacific. By the same measure, although the U.S. was not hampered by industrial restrictions, the U.S. M3 light tank proved to be an effective armored vehicle for fighting in jungle environments. At least one was captured in the Philippines. With the IJA's drive toward India within the Southeast Asian theater of World War II, the United Kingdom hastily withdrew their 2nd Royal Tank Regiment and 7th Hussars Stuart tank units from North Africa, and deployed them against the Japanese 14th Tank Regiment. By the time the Japanese had been stopped at Imphal, only one British Stuart remained operational. Upon U.S. entry into the war in 1941, it began to supply China with AFVs including the M3 Stuarts, and later M4 Shermans and M18 Hellcats, which trickled in through Burma and formed part of the several well-equipped, well-trained armies that the Chinese nationalists could deploy. These units were responsible for stopping numerous Japanese attacks during the later phases of the war. Although the U.S. light tanks had proven effective in jungle warfare, by late 1943, U.S. Marine Corps tank battalions were transitioning from their M3 per meter 5 light tanks to M4 medium tanks. With the less common supplement of their Type 97 Chiha medium tanks, the IJA was left to do battle against U.S. Marine M4 Sherman medium tanks, with armor that had been designed and fielded in the 1930s. Equals usage equals, when the U.S. Army joined the North African campaign in late 1942, Stuart units still formed a large part of its armor strength. After the disastrous Battle of Kasserine Pass, the U.S. quickly followed the British in disbanding most of their light tank battalions and subordinating the Stuarts to medium tank battalions performing the traditional cavalry missions of scouting and screening. For the rest of the war, most U.S. tank battalions had three companies of M4 Shermans and one company of M3S or M5 per meter 5A1S. In Europe, Allied light tanks had to be given cavalry and infantry fire support roles since their main cannon armament could not compete with heavier enemy armored fighting vehicles. However, 
the Stuart was still effective in combat in the Pacific theater, as Japanese tanks were both relatively rare and were lighter in armor than even Allied light tanks. Japanese infantrymen were not well equipped with anti-tank weapons, and as such had to use close assault tactics. In this environment, the Stuart was only moderately more vulnerable than medium tanks. In addition, the terrain and poor roads common to the theater were unsuitable for the much heavier M4 medium tanks, and so initially, for both sides, it was advantageous to deploy light armor. Heavier M4s were eventually brought to overcome heavily entrenched positions, though the Stuart continued to serve in a combat capacity until the end of the war. Though the Stuart was to be completely replaced by the newer M24 Chaffee, the number of M3s M5s produced was so great that the tank remained in service until the end of the war, and well after. In addition to the US, UK and Soviet Union, who were the primary users, it was also used by France, China and Josip Broz Tito's partisans in Yugoslavia. Equals post World War II use equals. After the war, some countries chose to equip their armies with cheap and reliable war surplus Stuarts. The Chinese Nationalist Army having suffered great attrition as a result of the ensuing civil war, rebuilt their armored forces by acquiring surplus vehicles left behind in the Philippines by the U.S. forces, including 21 M5A1S to equip two tank companies. They would have their finest hours during the Battle of Kuningtoyu in 1949, for which the tanks came to be known as the Bear of Kinmen. The M5 played a significant role in the First Kashmir War between India and Pakistan, including the Battle of Zojila Pass fought at an elevation of nearly 12,000 feet. The vehicle remained in service in several South American countries at least until 1996. During the 1960s and 1970s, the Portuguese army also used some in the war in Angola, where its all-terrain capability was greatly appreciated. In 1967, the Portuguese army deployed three M5A1 light tanks a Euro nicknamed Marlocas, Likas, and Gina by their crews a Euro in northern Angola, which served with the 1927th Cavalry Battalion commanded by Cavalry Major Joe Poundo Mendes Paulo, stationed at Nambuanungo. The vehicles were mostly employed for convoy escort and recovery duties, and limited counterinsurgency operations against National Liberation Front of Angola guerrillas, who dubbed them Elefante Dunduma Euro. Marlocas was destroyed by an accidental fire in 1969, while Gina and Likas were withdrawn from active service in 1972, the former being sent to Luanda and the latter ended up in 1973 as an airfield security pillbox in the Portuguese Air Force a Euro unregistered trademark SL airfield. Period photographs show some modifications to the basic design, namely the omission of the bow machine gun, reinstalled on a pintle mount in the roof of the turret, and a small searchlight fitted in front of the commander a Euro unregistered trademark S cupola. The South African Armoured Corps continued to use M3A1S in a reserve role until 1955. Some were refurbished locally in 1962 and remained in service as late as 1964. The fleet was withdrawn in 1968, owing to parts shortage. The M3 Stuart is still on the active list in the armed forces of Paraguay where the elderly survivors are the only tracked armor used by that country. Variants equals U.S. variants equals M3 5,811 vehicles were produced. 1,285 M3s had Gibson diesel installed and were called Stuart II by British. Late production M3s were fitted with turret developed for M3A1, though without turret basket. These tanks were dubbed Stuart Hybrid. M3A1. 4,621 were produced from May 1942 to February 1943. New turret with turret basket and no cupola. Gun vertical stabilizer installed. Sponson machine guns were removed. M3A1S with Gibson diesel were called Stuart IV by British, M3A3. 3,427 produced. Put into production to integrate hull improvements brought by the M5 into the M3 series. Turret with rear overhang to house SCR508 radio. Welded hull with sloped armor, 20 a degree in from the vertical, 
on front and sides. M5. 2075 produced. Twin Cadillac engines. Redesigned hull similar to M3A3, but with vertical sides and raised engine deck. Turret is for M3A1. M5A1. 6810 produced. M5 with a turret of the M3A3. This was the major variant in U.S. units by 1943. 75mm Howitzer motor carriage M8. 1,778 units produced. Based on M5 chassis. The gun was replaced with the 75mm M2 per meter 3 howitzer an open turret and a trailer hook was fitted so an ammunition trailer could be towed. Provided fire support to cavalry reconnaissance squadrons. 75mm howitzer motor carriage M8A1. M8 HMC variant based on M5A1 chassis. T1875 mm howitzer motor carriage. Self propel gun based on M3 chassis. 75 mm M1A1 pack howitzer was mounted in a boxy superstructure. The project started in September 1941 and was abandoned in April 1942. Only two were produced 75 mm howitzer motor carriage M8 was chosen to be produced instead. T82 howitzer motor carriage. Self-propelled 105 mm howitzer based on M5A1 chassis. Development began in 1943. Two prototypes built and tested in August 1944 at Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Project was discontinued on June 21, 1945. T56-3 and gun motor carriage. Self-propelled gun based on M3A3 chassis. The engine was moved to the middle of the hull and a 3-inch gun was mounted in a superstructure in the rear. The project started in September 1942 and was abandoned in February 1943. T-57-3 and gun motor carriage. Variant of T-56 with continental engine of the medium tank M3. Also dropped in February 1943. T27 per ton 27E 181mm mortar motor carriage, M5A1 with turret replaced by superstructure in which an 81mm mortar was installed. Also carried 0 .50 calories Browning M2 HB machine gun. The project was abandoned in April 1944 because of inadequate crew and storage space. T29 4.2 in mortar motor carriage. Designed similar to T27 with 4.2 inch mortar. Was abandoned for the same reason. T81 chemical mortar motor carriage, M5A1 based 4.2 inch chemical mortar carrier. M3 with Maxon turret. Anti-aircraft variant developed in 1942. Was armed with 4.50 calories machine guns in a turret developed by Maxon Corporation. The project was rejected because of the availability of the M16 MGMC. 40mm gun motor carriage T65. Anti-aircraft vehicle based on length and M5A1. Was armed with Beaufort's 40mm gun. Was ordered into production, but on light tank M24 chassis, so became the M19 gun motor carriage. 20mm multiple gun motor carriage T85. Anti-aircraft vehicle based on same chassis as T65. Was armed with Quad Oerlikon 20mm cannons. M3 per meter 5 command tank. M3 per meter 5 with turret replaced by small superstructure with a .50 calories machine gun. T8 reconnaissance vehicle, M5 with turret removed and mounting for .50 calories machine gun. M3 with T2 light mine exploder. Developed in 1942, was rejected. M3 per meter 3A1 with Satan flame gun. Ronson flamethrower installed instead of the main gun. 20 tanks were converted for U.S. Marine Corps in 1943. M5A1 with E5A1 M3 flame gun. Flamethrower was installed instead of a hull machine gun. M3A1 with E5A2 M3 flame gun. Flamethrower was installed in place of hull machine gun. M5 dozer. M5 with dozer blade. Turret was usually removed. M5 with T-39 rocket launcher, 
T-39 launcher with 27.2 inches rockets mounted on the top of the turret. Never reached production. M5A-1 with E7-7 flame gun. Flamethrower was installed instead of the main gun. M5A-1 with E9-9 flamethrowing equipment. Prototype only. M5A-1 with E8 flame gun. Turret replaced by boxy superstructure with flamethrower in a smaller turret. Prototype only. Equals UK variants equals, Stuart Recce, reconnaissance vehicle based on turretless Stuart. Stuart Command, Stuart Kangaroo with extra radios. Stuart Artillery Tractor, another turretless variant similar in appearance to the Recce and Kangaroo. Used to tow the Ordnance QF-17 Pounder. Not to be confused with the USM-5 tractor. Equals Brazilian variants equals, in the 1970s, Brazilian company Bernardini developed a series of radical Stuart upgrades for the Brazilian Army. X-1A. Based on M3A-1, this design had new engine Saab Scania diesel, improved suspension, new upper hull armor, fire controls and DEFA 90mm gun in a new turret. 80 vehicles were produced. X-1A-1. An X-1A with improved suspension with three bogies each side and raised idler. Didn't reach production. X-1A-2. Based on the X-1A-1, this version retained almost nothing of the original Stuart as even its hull was redesigned. The vehicle weighed 19 short tons, had crew of three, was armed with 90mm gun and powered by Saab Scania 300 horsepower diesel. 30 vehicles were produced in 1979 a Euro 1983. Operators Australia, Belgium, Brazil a Euro 350 M3A3 per A5, Canada, Stuart B tanks were widely used in recce troop of armoured regiments. In two Canadian armoured brigade after the Normandy landings, the establishment for each regiment was 49 Sherman tanks, both 75mm and 17 PDR, and up to nine Stuart tanks. Chile, People's Republic of China captured from Chinese Civil War, Republic of China, Colombia, Cuba, Czechoslovakia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, France, Haiti a Euro 8 M3A1 and 5 M5A1, Hungary, captured at least three from the Soviets, India, Indonesia, M5A1 from Netherlands, Italy, Japan, operated captured vehicles, for example in the Philippines and at the Battle of Imphal. Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, Nicaragua a Euro 4 M3A1 still in service with the National Guard in 1979, Paraguay a Euro 12 still in service. Five are operational in 2RC. 2010, Philippines a Euro 1 till 1959, Poland, Portugal a Euro 70 vehicles in service with the Portuguese Army and other 20 with the Republican National Guard from 1956 to 1972, South Africa, Southern Rhodesia, Turkey, United Kingdom, Uruguay, United States, Soviet Union, Venezuela, Yugoslavia. In the media. The 1941 U.S. military propaganda short film The Tanks Are Coming features the M3 and its manufacturing process. In the Mexican film comedy, 1945, Andara con el Diablo appear several M3 Mexican army, and one of them is driven by comic actor Mario Marino Cantantflas. Modified Stuarts were used in the movie Attack. As German tanks. A M3 Stuart tank was the centerpiece of the Green Hornet episode Seek, Stalk, and Destroy. A 24K gold M3 Stuart tank was created with the plans stolen from the hexagon and gold bullion by the Penguin and Marsha Queen of Diamonds in Batman episode Penguin's Disastrous End. Stopped with the Batsooka. Season 5 of the Twilight Zone TV series had an episode the seventh is made up of phantoms featuring the M3 Stuart tank and its crew going back in time fighting the Battle of Little Big Horn. The Haunted Tank was a DC Comics feature that appeared in G.I. Combat starring an M3 Stuart Scout tank commanded by Lieutenant Jeb Stuart, a direct descendant and namesake of the Civil War Cavalry General J.E.B. Stuart. The tank was haunted by the Confederate officer, who would appear to warn his kinsmen of impending danger or offer usually cryptic advice on how to handle a combat action. 
the original series ran from 1961 to 1987. A heavily modified M5A1 Stewart was featured in the movie Tank Girl as the eponymous heroine's tank. See also SCR-245, list of U.S. military vehicles by model number, G numbers, M5 high-speed tractor. Notes. References. Crisp, Robert, Major, DSO, MC. Brazen Chariots, An Account of Tank Warfare in the Western Desert, November a Euro December 1941 a Euro Major Crisp Story of British M3 Honeys in North Africa Campaign 1941 near Tobruk. Honeycutt, R.P. Stewart, A History of the American Light Tank. Volume 1. 1992, Presidio Press. ISBN 0-89141-462-2. Zaliger, Stephen M3 and M5 Stewart Light Tank 1999. Osprey New Vanguard 33. ISBN 978-1-85532-911-9. Zaliger, Stephen. Japanese Tanks 1939 a Euro 45. Osprey New Vanguard 137. ISBN 978-1-84603-091-8. Zaliger, Stephen. Armored Thunderbolt, The U.S. Army Sherman in World War II. 2008. Stackpole Books. ISBN 978-0-8117-0424-3. History You Can Model Fine Scale Model of February 2011. Page 74. External links, AFV Database, on War, M3 Stewart M3A1 Stewart M3A3 Stewart M5A1 Stewart, M5A1 Stewart Light Tank Photos and Walkarounds on Prime Portal, TM9-732 M5 Stewart Light Tank Operating Manual, 2. M3 Stewart Tank and M5A1 Stewart Tank at U.S. Veterans Memorial Museum.